All right. Torture talk. All right, so I want to do a review of uh, Gnome 10. This happened over the weekend. All right, so URL. Oh, before you do that, like, share, subscribe to the page. I got a couple of videos in the car. Then I'm going back to the camera. You know how that goes. All right, so URL had a um, Night of Main Events uh, card. Only one battle didn't happen. I think that was John John and I think it was John John and, and uh, Ill Will, I think. I'm not sure who John John was supposed to battle. He was supposed to battle somebody. I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. Uh, but I did see it. Um, URL has a, a contract with uh, Caffeine caffeine app on your phone which is pretty cool i think that that's a good look for battle rap as a whole um to, for url to be venturing off like that uh so uh gnome 10 all right so the first battle was for twenty five thousand dollars. it was uh fonz versus Jaden nightwing uh pretty interesting battle i should say uh you can kind of tell that they both are growing into their own. Um, Jaden Nightwing, I gave the first round of Jaden Nightwing. Uh, I think that uh, his first round was just a little more creative, I should say. Uh, Fonz has a lot of energy. Um, now, side note, I'm not really, I wasn't really, never really too impressed with Fonz. I think J. Crew beat Fonz. Um, I think J. Crew got robbed. I think J. Crew had better bars and he matched the same energy. I just think that Fonz was more in the moment and I guess that's why the judges picked him. But I picked J. Crew for that battle. Uh, back to Fonz, he never really impressed me until now. Um, I didn't see the battle with him in Easy to Block Captain. I don't know. Uh, me personally, I just don't think that Fonz is better than Easy to Block Captain even though I didn't see the battle. I'm just being straight honest. Now, did he beat him? Easy choke? I don't know. I didn't even hear about the battle. So I don't know. But if Easy on the 100, I just don't see Fonz beating Easy because Easy's just a superior writer. Now, maybe the judges felt like Fonz, I don't know, outperformed him or something. I don't know. But writing-wise, I, I, I guess it's a little more. I guess that's where my bias comes in at with battle rap, I should say. I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so Fonz uh, didn't really impress me up until this point. Uh, he, his first round was, a, was was pretty good. But his second was fire. And his third was fire. It's like, I see what Jada was, what Nightwing was trying to go with it. But Fonz just kept coming and just kept coming. And when he pulled the apron out and he did the whole wing scheme, flipped it. That was pretty interesting. So I gave Fonz that battle, so he won that battle. The second battle that um, I seen was uh, Mike P and Saga. All right, so let me just be clear about this. Let me be clear. All y'all who's put, y'all need to stop rush, rushing the judgment when it come to these battle rappers. And let's just be, let's just be straight honest. Stop rushing the judgment when it come to these battle rappers. Like. Everybody's all like, oh, uh, Saga, 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 Saga. I get it. Saga has some great moments. I get it. He even probably has a classic under his belt. But this is Mike P we talking about. Like, come on. you People act as if Mike P just started doing this. Mike P is a, is a way superior battle rapper. He has battled super names he's battled people that would put saga in the dirt <laughs> like for real like come on man like i just don't understand how y'all how y'all just be just putting these rap some of these battlers on a pedestal like so fast like don't get me wrong saga is cool i mean saga's a, he's he's a great writer he's a great writer but Again, it's more to it. And I guess when I go back to my biasness, it's a little more to it. I like writers. I do. But 
there is some there's a point where somebody just outmatched outwritten outperformed you know what i'm saying the thing with easy to block captain i just don't see fonz outwriting easy maybe he outperformed them but not outwriting them no i don't see that but as far as uh 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 mike p come on man mike p totally washed this dude he washed him all three rounds now granted saga third round was epic but it wasn't epic enough but he got washed he got destroyed all three rounds it wasn't even close and then and that's not even counting the fact that he choked not even counting the fact that he stumbled and choked and broke around first and second and cut his round short so mike p 3-0 man like come on i mean let me say this to saga bro Saga, you good, bro. Don't get me wrong. You good. You actually, actually, really good. But you blew that shot, bro. You've been doing really good all the way up to this point, and you blow that shot. Come on, man. How you blow that? How, how you how you on a URL night of main events card where you could have potentially been the main event, and you blow it. What was you doing that whole time? I don't understand. If you're going through something, back out the battle. I mean, you know you're a man of your word, but still. You look bad out there. But he but he back in the um the next uh the next card they got going. So shout out to him. Alright, so the next battle was Geechee Gotti and and uh Aver. Alright. Again, Gichi Gotti's tough. Don't get me wrong. But y'all like putting this dude in top 10. Like, come on, man. Stop it. He's not top 10. He's not top 10. He's not even probably top 20. Like, I get it. He battled on URL a couple times, and he's fired. Well, come on, man. Stop this. Stop this. Just because champions say somebody champion, Okay, but that doesn't make them the best battle rapper of all time. That's just their opinion. That's champion opinion, like my opinion. Think for yourselves, man. So I, 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 that battle, to me, great battle. Now, even don't criticize Ngeechee, great battle, man. He went off all three rounds. And Averb is Averb. He's a legend. So... That's two one either way. I probably lean more towards Geechee. Cause I think he did a little more, said a little more. But Averb's a legend. Averb did his thing. You know what I'm saying? So somebody said Averb won. I'd be like, yeah, he won. Two one either way. Alright, so next battle was uh Daylight and Tay Rock. Phenomenal battle arguably battle of the year one of them phenomenal battle i do not like tay rock at all i don't i'm gonna be the first to say i do not like tay rock at all but today or that day i should say that day i like tay rock tay rock was very impressive that day cadence aggression he tried different things. That's what I'm talking about. See, see, the thing about battle rap is when you battle somebody that's going to make you right, that's going to make you do something, that's why when I seen this matchup, people was like, oh, this is an odd matchup. I actually loved this matchup because I knew that it was going to bring something different out of Tayra because it has to. Because when you're battling somebody that's extremely good with words, you can't just rap now. That's like that's like me battling somebody that's a gun bar rapper, extremely good with uh, 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 performance and gun bars. I can't be just this words wordy word rapper. Well, if I'm the superior rapper, I can. But we all know that Tay Rock's not the superior rapper when it comes to uh, Daylight. Daylight's the superior lyricist. So Tay Rock got to at least try to step up to that with whatever he got too. So. So, and daylight's daylight, man. Daylight, daylight's daylight. I would say daylight 
is probably arguably has the best pen ever in battle rap when it comes down to it i probably i'm i, I would i would go with that you know what i'm saying just pen wise yes they like always does something amazing he's an amazing rapper I mean, I met him in person. He's an amazing dude, actually. He's he's a very good dude. So, I give that battle uh, to Daylight. I actually got Daylight winning all three rounds, but it was close. I think every time Tay Rock tried to step up, Daylight took it a step further. Just took it ten, like uh, three steps further, two steps further. So, I gave that battle to uh, to Daylight. All right, in the last battle was uh, Lux versus Sue Surf. Highly anticipated battle, I should say. One of those battles that I think that people was really, really, really looking forward to. Because Surf had a lot to say in this battle. And I'm going to get into Loaded Lux, but I want to say this about about the battle. Of, as, oh, well, in fact, I'll get into uh, Surf first. See, the thing about Surf is, Surf's a legend. But sometimes I feel like Surf's a legend by default because he had a couple of good classics. But a lot of times, Surf talks a lot, but he never delivers to a, a high expectation like this. It's like, I thought that Surf was gonna come in here and totally try to dominate. But he came in and Lux's aura is different, man. People got to understand that. Lux is the greatest battle rapper of all time. There's no way around that. I don't care what anybody says. He has everything. If you look at, like, if there was a card with cards, like, we had battle rapper cards and everybody had durability, intelligence, uh, 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 speed, uh, whatever you want to put on the back of that card, Loaded Lux is probably... 9.5 to 10 on everything he's right like on everything so i'm thinking that like when it came down to it when it came down to it uh i think lux intimidated him to the point where he just really fumbled over himself and choked and couldn't finish his rounds now getting into lux not the best Lux I ever seen, but just to even say that this is not the best I ever seen of someone. This them not not compare. I'm comparing them to them. It's pretty amazing to me. If you could compare somebody to themselves, like oh you're not the best Jay Z I ever seen. I can't compare nobody else to you, but I was comparing you to you. That's that's amazing to me. And I think that uh, Lux. I think about Lux and the reason why he's number one. There's so many different variables to Lux. And, and, and I met him too. And he's a good person. Outside of him being his pen. So let's get it. Let's, let's just state this, right? See, Lux is a battle rapper that adapts to the situation. He's, 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 a, he's a war strategist, I should say. He plans out his war. He don't just rap. That's, let's, just, let's just get that clear. Everything Loaded Lux says has a point to it. Whether you like it or not. It's a point to everything Loaded Lux says. There's a point to it. So when when uh sorry when uh excuse me when uh when Loaded Lux uh like I was saying, it's a point to everything Loaded Lux says. He just doesn't rap. He just doesn't piece words together. It's one long verse about you. That's that. And he somehow throws punches in there. Now, people criticize Lux sometimes saying things. I say, everybody that criticizes Lux can't write like that. They could say they write better. I don't believe so. I think a lot of battle rappers who appear to be or talk as if they're super nice there's they're nowhere near as good as loaded lux's mind or what he does how he crafts rounds together the way he the way he projects his voice and the way he goes from one extreme to the next 
Most battle rappers rap with one cadence through the whole round. They don't know how to turn it off and on like that. This is why I say Lux is the best because he literally can go from one extreme to the next flawlessly like that. When he was talking about something, he said something. He said, uh, he said something to him. He said something. I gave me a roof. Like, which you can take both ways. We said roof as in dog or roof as in top. Yeah, so you, we know, you know what I'm saying. I don't mean to jump in the camera like that, but still. So it's not even close when it, when you look at Loaded Lux. Now, Loaded Lux to me got the first and the, set, the third. But after I watched it again, he actually won the second too. He won the first, second, and third. But they caught time on him on all three rounds. Uh, and that's another thing that I think that hurts Loaded Lux. And sometimes I don't think he keeps it keeps it listening he has a lot more to go now they, they 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 specifically said times i don't know who set that up i don't know if that was uh that was uh, surf or lux they if they agreed to that they agreed to that i don't know maybe maybe lux felt he could get most of his stuff out but with that being said i gave all three rounds to the lord lux um i don't know surf said he lost two two one i'm thinking that maybe he's saying he, he won the second because that was probably his strongest round but Surf King with the with the same regurgitated stuff that everybody comes with when it comes to Loaded Lux. Every battle rapper does the same thing. The only person that didn't do that was Aver, which was which to me was one of the best battles that I've seen in a long time. That was the only person I don't think did that. You know what I'm saying? He he rapped with Lux, which was amazing. Was amazing. Both of them was amazing. Other than that, everybody does the same, the same, oh, you, what are you, or you this, or you that. That's not going to work no more. He hasn't done that for five to six years now. Like, come on. Rap with this nigga. If Surf would have maybe rapped with him and just stuck to rapping instead of trying to prove something, he might have had a shot. And I think, and I do believe that Lux addressed that in there, and he was saying how it looks me. He says so much in that, in that man. He says so much in that. I don't want to get into it, but like I said, Lux, Lux 3-0, man. I think he won all three rounds. Um, and that's it, man. Uh, like, share, subscribe to the page. Uh, I think Loaded Lux and Daylight is probably going to be the battle that I'm... Well, I, it is the battle that I'm looking forward to seeing. I'm going to be honest with you. Might be after this battle, I'm probably not going to be reviewing Battle Rap for a long time. Unless it's something that I really want to see. But outside of that, Lux and Daylight is probably the last battle I really, really want to see. Because I think that people are starting to book the same people. And nobody's trying to, to, you know, trying to do things with new people. And that's nothing, I'm not taking a shot at Smack or anybody. I'm just saying. There's a lot of good artists out here. A lot of good battle rappers. And then people are just sticking with the same battle rappers. And I guess this for money, I understand, but... You got to give some other people shots, you know. So I guess that's why that's why I like my league so much, Sid. But anyway, uh, anyway, great event URL. I think they did their thing. Um, I have seen a lot of people talking about some. They didn't. It was trash. I don't think so. I think it was only. I think it was only one battle that, to me, was one sided. And that was the Mike P battle. Outside of that, I mean, of course, you don't have a crowd. So I think all the battles was pretty good. Even with chokes, even with uh, surf choking, I think surf still did his thing. Surf is surf. Like, come on, can't really take too much away from him. But he, he choked, but still, like, he act like he ain't had no shit. He had a lot of good shit. <laughs> I'm saying so. It is what it is. But uh, um, yeah, man. Battle rap, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Torture talk. You know what it is. Um, that's all I got, man. That's all I got. Oh, yeah, one more thing, man. Stop making excuses for y'all battle rappers, y'all fans for y'all favorite battle rapper. If y'all favorite battle rapper lost, then he lost. Don't sit here and give me this whole, oh, the battle wasn't good because your battle rapper lost. Your battle rapper lost, he lost. Let's just, let's just call a spade a spade. Like, all this, all this, 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 trying to cut the whole battle down because your battle rapper got smoked. Oh, he was, he, he had rounds that was, that was beatable. Like, get out of here, man. Get out of here. You just don't like the fact that your man can smoke. See, that's what it is. 
When it come to certain things, I'm biased. But when it come down to it, if somebody lose, I'm going to clearly say they lost. I'm not going to be biased about that. Anyway, like, share, subscribe to the page. Torch talk. You know what it is.